In this example, we want to take a look at how we can control the slope of the shoulder within our template that we place along our roadway to build our corridor. If we take a look at how we're set up right now in our project, I test this vertically, you can see that our shoulder is just locked at a constant percentage of slope, in this example minus 2% away from the pavement. One thing that we can do is have the shoulder always follow the pavement and we can do that by changing this from a slope constraint to a vector offset constraint where our parent point number one is going to be the center and parent point number two is the edge of pavement and then the offset from that vector would be zero so we apply that and so now when we test vertically our edge of pavement you will see that the sh slope of the shoulder always follows the pavement. Another option is to have it honor a rollover and so if we go back to our shoulder point and edit that point instead of choosing the option here for vector offset we're going to go back to slope and we're going to slope from the edge of pavement at a minus two percent and so we'll apply that change first and that's back to where we were at our start but this time we want to introduce rollover and so we're going to go to our rollover dialog and we tell it what we want our high side difference to be. So let's say that we set our high side to a maximum rollover of 6%. And then the low side, let's just follow the slope of the pavement. Then we have to pick our reference point. I'm going to do this graphically. And you'll see that our reference point is going to be the center line of the road, where the parent point is the edge of pavement. So we'll pick our reference point here. And then we will say OK to that and apply and close and so now when we test our edge of pavement on the low side you'll see that we always follow the pavement but on the high side once we get to our rollover max then our shoulder will start sloping up but not at the same rate of change as the pavement it'll honor that rollover and once that rollover is met then the shoulder will begin to slope and that's a way that you can alter the slope of the shoulder differently than the slope of the pavement through the rollover locks in your template design.